Y'all know what time it is. It's 144 time. 144 time. It's time to go in and guess who I got with me? My dynamic duo partner, my wife, soulmate, Yahoo mate, Miss Lena Nolan. Lena, we ready to go in today? Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon to all those on the other side of the world. Thank you so much for being here. We are ready to start the skeleton. Very excited with a lot of good news. And as this name said today, Operation Spread. We're spreading the word of Yahuwah. And that is what we're doing this. So how are you doing this morning, man? I'm doing phenomenal. You know, when we when we thought about these this different levels, and see a lot of times folks are are trying to figure out. How do we get the truth out there more? How do we combat all of this nonsense? Everybody knows yes. this nonsense all over the earth. How do we combat it? Well, we got to be strategic about it. And so we had a long-term plan in place from the time we started the True Scriptures Project. We continue to pull the team together. We continue to analyze. We continue to do, here's what you got to do. You got to train. You got to track. And you got to measure, you see? So what we've been doing is training people in the real word of Yahuwah, right? So we're training. Now then we got to track how effective is that training? Well, it's been very effective because I'm going to do a roll call in here in a second about all the countries and states that we've impacted. And we're always asking people to say that they love Yahuwah. So when you come in to and you're listening, everybody listen to me now, you should drop your name. You should drop your city and country or your city and state, and you should put, I love Yahuwah. That is a very specific directive because it's sending a message and it's training. See that training, Lena, right? Yes. And yes. then we can track it, you see. So when I do this, when I do this shout out and I do the shout out of all the countries, this is the tracking of how the training's doing. Then yes. we measure its effectiveness by how it spreads. So, Lena, I'm ready to get yeah. into Operation Spread in this telethon today. How you feel about it? I, I love it, and I think it will be amazing to be able to show all the people that is watching us right now the numbers that our social medias are, are, are sending us right now with, like, the difference between when we started uh, last year and how much through all the live videos that we have done during these past two months, how much we've been able to spread the name of Yahuwah. You all have been able to be witnesses of the amount of people that comes through every life. And every time you're in here, you see new names, the amount of emails we're receiving, the amount of uh, comments, uh, posts, uh, tags that we get into all the social media. It is amazing. We've seen the name of the crea our creator just being uh advance in a, in, in, a, in a way that uh, we know he's coming. Like we know, because the, when, I, when I learned about Yahoo in 2012, it was very hard, even at that time, to find the truth on, on Google. <laughs> That's true. And because for me, Google was like the main thing, you know? Uh, I was very young when all this Alta Vista and all these other things was like very famous. So when I come up, it was like Google was the big thing and it was hard to find things there. Now it's just so many people asking for it, so many people sharing all the information uh, people creating websites and, and doing their own way of spreading from the promo, from promote the truth um, information. So I, I'm very excited. I'm very proud of what we're doing. And I think we've been able to work with everyone that is here in line in, 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 uh, on this live and everybody that have been supporting promote the truth. We have been able to do this together. And that is uh, one of the most important things that we just decided to hold hands together and push through all this paganism that, that is happening in the world. And look, when did we did all this? All Think this about it. That's got a good point, Lena. In the most pagan month of the year. That's a good point. We did the big push of the, we so we did the campaign right in the quote, pagan holiday season is when we did phases one through four Lena, that's a good point, man. Yeah, 
Like we why, why, did that, why did that point hit you right there that we did that? Because we had to go deal with Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's. I mean, pagan yeah. to the max. It was pagan to the max. And I, I feel that what Yahuwah pushes to do is to put his, he, go against all that paganism and put Yahuwah first and move his name forward to go against uh, the evil world. So I'm very, I'm very proud of what Hey, did you tell the team to tell everybody in the Telegram group that we're live? Did you yep. tell the team that? All right, yep. so we're good? It was done. Everybody got their notification on Telegram. And um, make sure you always get the, the ring bell in, the, in YouTube. That way you get the notification. You yep. can also do it on Facebook. But, um, yeah, most of the comments and everything we're, we're doing um, on YouTube. That's like the main... Uh, communication channel, but yes, the, I think the month of of, of December, the pagan P pagan November and December, <laughs> we were right into we were right record. into the teeth of it. We do were yeah, right but, into the teeth of it. You know how how I feel it. You know this cartoon movie, uh, Ferdinand, the 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 big bull, the big and bull, he's yeah. In this, uh, in this store that he cannot touch nothing, which is he, he's, a, he's a, like in a china shop with all the nice g glass and plates. Yes, we just busted through the <laughs> with Yahoo's name. So yeah, I'm very. I'm, I, I was proud. We, I'm proud that we all did that. Oh, together. that's so good, man. We came right up in the in the China shop, in the pagan shop, and we just moving around just like it ain't nothing. Stuff splattering everywhere. We just smashing down idols left and right. It reminds me of Abraham, the story of Abraham when he went and tore down all his parents' idols. And a lot of people wonder why did Yahuwah Tell Abraham he had to leave that country. That's because Abraham went in there in his youth, in his younger years. He started tearing stuff up. He knew something wasn't right. He knew something wasn't right. And so he said, this is pagan. This is wrong. And so he tore it down. And that's what we're doing, tearing it down. And so this telethon today, we're going here at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be Lena and I, we got special guests coming in. And it's awesome what's happening right now, because down here in Colombia, we are we support a, a foundation here. So promote the truth. You all, you all, y'all going to get to see, you know, where some of these funds are going because we're spreading the funds out. And so, Lena, maybe just kind of hit on that real quick. What is the what is some of the team here in Colombia doing right now? Uh, right now, we are packing uh, kit, um, school supply kits for this uh, foundation and to, for uh, another location where we know there's poor kids. It's unbelievable that schools, public schools here in Colombia, knowing that these kids are very um, poor and don't have the opportunities to get all these things, their list of um, of, of uh, school supplies is he he can't it's just it's just crazy. They're asking for fifteen notebooks. They're asking for dictionaries. They're asking for Bibles. It's crazy, um, and they are asking for pens for uh, rulers. They're asking for scientific calculators. They're asking for um, markers, colors. And it's all this list is more than 20 things, and they're not able to buy that. Nope. His, his parents get into so much pressure from, from that. So we was able to get uh, several kits, and right now um, our team here in Colombia are putting together those kits with notebooks. We, we, we was able to get, and we will publish these videos. We got notebooks. We got... Um, erasers we get uh the pouches to put everything the pencils the pens colors and kai kai bring me one of each thing that way i can show everybody but we're right now to see here, <clears throat> because yeah, we got right we got now, people we over here. here we got people over here right now right that now are packing have, these books what are they doing yeah, right Tell now them. we're packing right now we're packing everything to be able to take it to the foundation uh, in the name of Yahuwah. Y'all gotta listen. In the name of Yahuwah, correct. This ain't like we're not, we're not just handing stuff out going, hey, you guys get to get this. They cannot have this unless they understand and that school 
goes and says, this came from promote the truth in the name of Yahuwah. Go ahead, Lena. Show them what's going on. We got, we got notebooks. We got markers. We got rulers. We got, um, we got uh, glue. We got rulers. We got these blogs that they asked them for. So we are creating a, um, a, a kit. We actually purchased them um, some backpacks. That way we can put in each dose. Those bags haven't been opened yet. They're counting and selecting right now everything to make the, 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 the sets and then being able to put it in there and then hand it to those kids. So um, we're very happy with what we've been doing because we've been able to touch them and being able to go there and say, this, was, this is a gift from Yahuwah and being able to teach them from little who really the creator is. Yes. All these names that they have heard before, they're pagan, they're wrong. And, and it's not that they are doing something that they, they, they're wrong themselves, but they was they didn't know better. So it's our job to tell them what they need to do now, from now on. So that's the benefit that we're able to have with this foundation. Uh, we directly talk to, to the people that was... Uh, that they created this foundation and told them we're able to help you, but we have to be able to teach them about Yahuwah. And they agree on doing that. So yep. that's that's very great. Em Emily, we you know, the way we we're gonna be growing, we will be able to help in other countries. So that's why we that, that's why this operation spread. We need to be able to help all over the world. So Mexico can be in in that list of people that we can help. Yes. So we got a we got a major project uh happening and so we now promote the truth has officially taken on the project in Bangladesh with brother Nira who is already a skilled evangelist. Y'all heard all about Nira, you seen his story get on YouTube. He called on the name of Yahuwah, got immersed more importantly not only did he call, he got immersed into the name of Yahuwah. I took him through a strict two-week training program, hands-on. Yeah, I don't know why. Yahuwah just put it on my heart. He said, take him through it. So I took him through it, and I knew if he could get through this gauntlet that I was going to take him through, that kind of like if you look at the story of Ali Yahu, Elijah, sign name Elijah, when he came down out the cave and went down in the field, and Lenny, you know, when he went down in that field, he saw Alicia. And so, uh, sign name Alicia. So he went through, right past him. And what most people try to do is they try to convince people. They try to sell people on it. And, and Yahuwah Mashiach, when he was here, Yahushua HaMashiach, he said, my sheep will hear my voice. And so what everyone here has to understand is that the lost sheep, the lost sheep of Yisrael. All we got to do is do our job and spread that word. And then they are going to come running. So what did Ali Yahu do? He walked on past Alicia. Alicia. He, just, he just took his mantle and just grazed it up next to him. Right? He just grazed his mantle up next to him and he just kept walking. And guess what happened? Alicia, Alicia came running after him. And that's what we're doing. So I'm going to go over the project that we got going on in Bangladesh. And guess what, Emily? You know what? You and Lena need to get connected. So Lena, why don't you uh, why don't you send Lena a DM over on her Instagram, uh, Emily? Send her a DM in her Instagram, and then she can set up a Zoom with you. I got I just got a call in my heart about Emily, Lena. Okay, I just got a call in my heart about Emily. Okay. All right. All right, so Emily, Yahuwah just spoke to me about you. So get connected with Lena. Send her a DM. Are you in the Telegram group? She can send you a direct message in the Telegram group. And guess what? We're going to do some more outreach. So I'm going to go over today in this first session. One of the big bonuses that you get when you come on these telethons is I'm going to go over some of these key things that are happening. Not hoping, not wishing, but they are happening in the name of Yahuwah. We are workers in the name of Yahuwah. You see? What you going to show us, Lena, before I get into all this good stuff? 
Yes, I wanted to show you. These are the backpacks that we're going to give them all the stuff in it. Uh, we have black with white, and we have this blue. Teal. Uh, yes, for the girls. So we're going to put everything here, and we're going to be able to show them, uh, to uh, give them each one a set, and they can carry what they uh, what they. Yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah, 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 Selena, pe people don't know what we had to do to get, because, you know, this stuff is expensive. So we had to go in a part that would trip y'all out. So we stood and my dad, bless his heart, came all, he flew all the way to Columbia to come visit for a few weeks, see his grandson, got to go to his grandson Kai's karate class yesterday and when they had a competition and, and then right after, or right, yeah, right after that, we went to a part of town, I mean, there's so many people there. See, the city that we're in is over 2.3 million people here. We went to a part of town where you can get better deals and there's all kind of shops set up. And I mean, you, you're going to get bumped at least a hundred times within an hour. You're going to get bumped, bumped. There's so many people there. All right, now look at that. Look, Lena's got, look, she got some video. This was us yesterday. Us, personally. Me, Lena, my dad, my son, and my mother-in-law. That's where we were at yesterday in a part of town. Lena, did you get a shot of all the people that were walking by by any chance that we could show the crowd? Uh, no. We got to get no, them shot. Really, it was it was crazy. Actually, even taking the phone out, it, it was. Yeah, you got to be was, careful. You can't just take your was, phone out anywhere around there. Yeah. You know. So, uh, no, this is what this was. This was the most, and, and you know, I was in deep there working with the owner of that place because I told him that I needed to get better. It's already good deals there for. Uh, for people that, that need it, um, but because we was gonna buy in a, in 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 a bigger amounts, so I needed to talk directly to the owner to get the extra benefits on that and let him know that uh, we went to different places first, getting the 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 best the best um, the best prices, and he was the one that said, okay, because you have enough foundation, I'm gonna help extra. So I said, look, we have to keep supporting these kids. You know, the, the thing about this list, they start with the, at the year, but you know, in the middle of the year, they're not gonna have pens, they're not gonna have um, erasers, the, the, the pencil, you know how it is with kids. The yeah. colors are gonna be low. Just so everybody understands it, because it's different in different parts of the world. Here in Columbia, the official restart of the school year after the pagan holidays is tomorrow. <laughs> yes. So pagan Monday tomorrow, so February the 5th is when everybody's coming back. They've been out since mid-December. So now they come back on February the 5th. And so we got all these kids down here that didn't have nothing. And so we decided we was three, four hours out. My dad, I got to give it to him, 76 years old, standing down there the whole time. And I guess at the very end, the last 30 minutes, they noticed that, you know, he's standing there the whole time. And uh, he went and they went and got him a chair that he could sit in. But he stood there with us in the name of Yahuwah. Didn't complain. I didn't complain. It was hot. It was people all over the place. But we <laughs> knew we had to do something for these kids. Lena. Yes, yes, yes. And I think um, their faces is going to be precious just to see them receiving that. Uh, actually, one of the girls that we are going to help is here helping to pack um, this and 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 she's so so excited because she now she's calling the name of Yahuwah and she's teaching her her uh, friends in school too. This is from a so we have the foundation and we have an area another area in the in the city where we have a lot of kids too. So we're gonna start helping on that area too. So we're very excited with what we're doing and what we've been able to do with the support of all of you guys. So I really um, just excited about about. So you, you, you can see she, we got one of the workers here. You see that I took a picture this morning. She's she's down here. So some somebody that doesn't have much. This young little girl don't have much. She called on the name of Yahuwah. She renounced all other ones. They gave her pressure at school. They told her that she got to take the Bible class. And her mama went down there and said, no, she's following Yahuwah. And 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 that she had a sign. What did she have to sign, Lena? Yeah, she had some. Tell what happened. We took a stand. Tell her what happened. Well, the thing is that here in Colombia, I don't know how it's in other countries, but it's mandatory uh, religion class. So in that religion class, uh, 
they supposedly teach the the Bible. So the first thing in the list of the school supplies that she needed to take, it was the Bible. So she said she was not going to that class. And obviously the school is like, well, this is a mandatory class. So her mom has to go and talk to the principals and said, we don't follow, no, not, not this uh, Catholic religion or Christians or any of the, this uh, organized religion. So my daughter is not going into that class. I need you to, when that class starts, she's able to go to the library or somewhere else and study other things or whatever she wants to study. And, and she's not bringing no Bible either. So um, they said, because she said, we have the rights because our, the, our, our spiritual beliefs. So they made her sign these um, forms to uh, allow her to be able to have her daughter uh, out of that class. So tomorrow when they start, every time they have religion class, she's going to be able to go to the library, but she has to talk like to two different people and sign these documents. But what it was very um, good about this, it was that I, by her making that stand, people ask her, why are you doing this? Yes. So she was able to witness them about Yahuwah. She's like, because that's not the real name. Your guys are teaching the wrong stuff. And they're like, okay. But they hear the, the, word, the name of Yahuwah. Yeah. And is that seed, you know, is that seed that we need to keep spreading? Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about right here. All right, so at this moment here, guys, we're giving y'all some droplets here, getting started on this telethon. This is kingdom <clears throat> business. Whenever we do telethons, excuse me, whenever we do telethons, you know we're kingdom business. So we got Operation Sprint, tsnt.org. Get over to tsnt.org. We're starting the project. It's Operation Spread. We've had to tick it up a little bit because we're taking on Bangladesh. We're taking on more strategic marketing, and we're going to get after it. So this goal raise is going to be $30,000 for this first phase of Operation Spread. And we've already got, most people don't know, we turned it on uh, late yesterday. And, and so we already got to start. So, Lena, we've already got over a thousand, so $1,174. And eight cents has already happened. So, so once we sent the emails and the messages out, people were wanting to know what's going on with Operation Spread. So I want y'all to understand uh, that Operation Spread is a pivotal initiative in the True Scriptures campaign. It's aimed at accelerating the worldwide mis dissemination of Yahuwah's word. So as we're translating scriptures, left and right every single day. What we got to do is got to be strategic. So when the true scriptures are ready, when we have that Brita Das Real New Testament available here, targeted, targeted for pagan month, April 2024. See, <clears throat> we're not that far away. So we got it targeted. And so we need to get the dissemination of the information out ahead of that word coming into the world. You see what I'm saying? So how do we do that? Well, targeting uncharted territories. Nobody has done <clears throat> what, we're get, what we're doing and about to do. Nobody's done it in the name of Yahuwah. Not one person since this earth has been around has done what I'm telling y'all we're going to be doing. And are doing. We're targeting uncharted territories through strategic marketing. The greatest marketer that's ever lived is Yahuwah Mashiach. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. On the earth, when he was Yahusha HaMashiach, he set up a marketing campaign <clears throat> by telling people, come follow me. I'm going to make you fishers of human beings, of men and women. So we're doing the same thing, except we're going to tap into what Yahuwah said. He says, in the end times, I'm going to increase knowledge. Most people miss that part, Lena, about the we're in the increased knowledge time. You got to pay attention to the signs of the times. Like, look what's happened in the past 100 to 150 years. Now, nobody argues that the earth has been around at least 6,000 years. Nobody's arguing that. Now, some people say millions of years. Some people say thousands, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. All right. 
let's just take it to where at the point where everybody agrees. <clears throat> everybody agrees that the earth's been around at least 6,000 years. So even at that 6,000 point, we got to have enough common sense as people to know we're in the end times. Like we don't have to like, like, like we're not in the wild west. We are in technology havens. I mean, it's everywhere. And what has happened in the past hundred years, 150 years. So in the chat, now it's time for y'all to get active because I'm going to work you a little bit here to get you to think. I want people that's watching the replay. I want people that's coming in here going, you know what? I got to think about this. What are all the inventions y'all can think of that happened just in the past hundred to a hundred, call it 150 years and say the earth's been around 6,000. So that means 5,850 some years, nobody figured out how to do these inventions. What are the inventions that's happened on earth? Cars, Aaron said, computers, cell phones. What else? Y'all put it in satellites, the chat. Satellites, internet satellites all over the space. Satellites, right? Internet. What else? What's happened in the past? What about a refrigerator? <laughs> yes. What about a microwave? Right? What Air are the fryers. things that happened in just the past? The TV. Look, the radio, the television, the radio. Right? Think about what's happened just in the past 100 to 150 years, family. Then once you are able to kind of reason that, see, you you haven't really stopped and thought about it. You want to know why? Because you're in it. It just seems common to you. But your great, great, great grandmother and grandfather, they would say this is, like, even my grandfather, He would be, the cell phones were just coming out. He died in 2000. Cell phones were just kind of really starting to get out around 95, 96. Look at that. Emily's got air conditioning, freezer trucks, trains. Look, what about the airplane? How come y'all ain't put that down? What about jets? <clears throat> look at the look at look at the jets, what they can do. Look at stealth bombers and all this kind of stuff. Drones. What else? Look at why we said technology, period. It's like so once you take we're your brain, right, we're surrounded. So, Lena, what happens is because we're in it, everybody's like, they just take it for granted. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is this is kind of always the way it's been. No, it hasn't. Helicopter. That's right, Ghost Rider. Modern day surgery. Think about that. Look what they can do with surgery. So y'all got to understand that if you go back just 200 years ago, None of what I'm saying is around. Okay? I want y'all to get that. We're going to use the we're going to use 6,000. I believe it's a little bit more than that. Look, robots, hey, look at AI now. Artificial intelligence family. It's ridiculous. Yes, that's artificial right. intelligence. Laptop, yes. Like on these phones. On these phones is is got the power of what used to be in a building. Just 20 years ago. Think about this. Now, I want y'all to listen. Now, we're going to just do some basic math because the scripture says, come together, let us reason. Come together. Even if we just took the flat 6,000 and we did minus 200, that would be 5,800 years. Now, why am I telling you to think this way? Because I want your brain to snap into the sense of urgency of the sign of the times of Yahuwah's very soon arrival, it seems to be. Because if you got human beings, huh? Think about that. <laughs> Look, everybody watch this. Tap yourself. Human being, see? When you feel yourself, you go, okay, I'm a human being. These people, 5,800 plus years, were what? Human beings. 
And you mean to tell me they couldn't figure out how to make a car? They couldn't figure out the microwave, the refrigerator. Hey, they couldn't figure out electricity. They couldn't figure out the light bulb. Yeah, they did some unbelievable structures that can't nobody even fathom right now. But I'm talking about the mass amount of technology. You mean to tell me 5,800 years, they couldn't figure out the airplane? Why is it that nobody could figure this out when there were human beings walking around and they're, and they're created in the image? They're like, Louis, it's electric coffee pots, right? All this stuff. Why couldn't people figure this out? You see, the scriptures tells you why they couldn't figure it out. Because knowledge had not yet been increased yet. Yes. There was a time when you look scripturally, and when I do these prophecy trainings, y'all going to do, y'all might run down the street somewhere and not even come back because you're going to be so excited at understanding how close Yahuwah is to coming back. Think about this. 5,800 years. Nobody figured out how to do this. Let's just keep it basic. A motorcycle. 5,800 years. Nobody can figure out how to do a motorcycle. Right? All of a sudden, in the last 200 years, really 150, here all these things come in abundance. These things come in abundance, like, and how much is evolving every day, family? Huh? It's unbelievable. Every day there is, how many, like every year, new, com new phones, new computers are coming out with different things and look what's going on now with all the um, uh, artificial intelligence. Now you have robots that are serving you food, robots that are, are, are cooking, you have robots that clean your house, you get all this um, updated stuff that they are just um, coming out with. It's just unbelievable, all the things. Like they can just take our faces and do videos with intel, uh, artificial intelligence, so it's unbelievable how much we are, we're, how much all this technology and the knowledge of human being is happening. It's gone. Right it's yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's like you, you kind of like, wow, this is like. Yeah, look at Brian said. We got talk, we got cars that are driving as taxis by themselves now. Yes. Well, right now they also are planning on they're building right now. The individual cars that can fly. Yeah. Washing so, machine like that. This is stuff that people are not thinking about. Look what yes. Sherry put in. Curling irons, hair dryers, rollers, di dishes. Yeah. Silverware, lamps, indoor plumbing that every one of us appreciate. You ain't got an outhouse. None of y'all other than some of these third, 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 third world countries are going to the outhouse. And I, when we know areas of people going to the outhouse, we know it because we had it over in our in our, our orphanage school in Kenya. We, there was an outhouse until we worked to get plumbing in there. I'm telling y'all, all we got to do is stop and think. Yep, guns, all this stuff. We got to stop and think, what time are we in now? Like how important of a role are we playing in this time? Okay. And why is it so important what we're doing? Because what's happening now, Yahoo has increased knowledge, which also will increase confusion. So we stand as a beacon going, nope, we're going to promote the truth. We're going to keep it simple. And we're going to start by tearing down the nonsense. See? Yes. We got to get this one. To, that's got to get tore down. How much yes. destruction has come from this? How many wars have been started over this? How many people have been killed over these two pagan words, holy yes. bias? That's two pagan yes. words that people are basing their whole world on. Coming from a king that didn't give a damn about Yahuwah. You think, you think King James cared or anything about Yahuwah or the truth? He had a book in the scriptures changed to his name. There wasn't no J. Then, 
You understand how important this is? What we're talking about? Yeah. It was Yaakov. It was Jacob, who we know as Jacob, Yaakov. So what we got to do is we got to understand, we got to tear it down, and then we got to spread it. So we handle the kingdom business today. So kingdom business is we doing what's called Operation Spread. We're going to target these uncharted territories through strategic marketing. This effort seeks to ensure that the true scriptures reaches every corner of the earth, period, fast. Fulfilling the prophecy that the good news, the Bashura, that's the good news, the Bashura or the great news must be proclaimed to all nations before the end. You see, the end is at hand. The kingdom of Yahuwah is at hand. So you can join us on this transformative mission to spread Yahuwah's light and truth worldwide. Are you in? Are you in? Because we got to do kingdom business and we got a target here. So if you go to tsnt.org and put your, if you can, guys, if y'all not ashamed of the message of Yahuwah, leave a comment when you do a contribution and, be, and leave a witness. Because I'm going to be, I'm going to be, sometime this month, I'm going to do a call, roll call again. I'm going to leave, I'm going to start from the comments that I read. Took me, what, about two hours, Lena, to read all those comments? Yes. I'm, I'm going to read them, I'm going to read them again. I'm going to start from where I left off. And then we're going to go all the way through and we're going to go and spread this because y'all keep talking about Yahuwah and a witness. I'm telling you, most people think they're alone in this. No, no, no. We're not alone. We're two or more gathered in his name. Yes. We can ask anything. So yeah. what you, before I get into some good stuff, Lena, what you got for us? Talk to us. No, I wanted to ask you if you have our guests there in the waiting room. Not in the waiting room yet. Oh, yeah, I do got our guests. Is that Elmer? Yes. Wait a minute. Everybody give a big warm welcome to Elmer Hingo. Everybody want to know. Everybody wants to talk you talk about this letter that you dropped on that church down there, Elmer. Talk to us, brother. Hey, welcome to the welcome to the uh, program. Welcome, Elmer. Welcome. Um, thank you, uh, Sister Lena and Scholar J for inviting here in the Operation Spread Teleton. And welcome to the uh, Promote Family Truth uh, family. And thank you for inviting us, in me and my family, for this uh, uh, teleton. This is beautiful. And I'm I'm uh, I'm glad and that I'm part of this family. And. Uh, the letter that I wrote is a big decision. Uh, me and my family that uh, last year the, we decided before the pagan uh, January 1 coming in, we, we decided and I, I draft that letter to our uh, leader in the called church, uh, church. And uh, I pray the Yahuwah will be gave me a uh, strength because it's a big decision for me and my family that we renounce uh so-called jesus christ over our lives then uh, i wrote that letter to make it um uh, uh professional with them then uh, i gave them the then they always called me and i didn't uh show up to their uh to the meetings because i know that they will uh make a debate something like that then i cannot uh uh they, i i know that they will not listen to to me because of the decision that i made because uh they are uh they are lied since the beginning of their christian life me yes. too also <laughs> so me and my wife because uh my wife is uh, uh is the a before we always um uh have a debate about the um uh sabbath then i i, I always study i always search about the sabbath then and and i i came up to the promote channel then i i came up then i i, I look at it then my wife uh told me uh, look at this. Listen to this. Promote uh, the 
the the one that last November uh, video in the YouTube. Then uh, I go over it because last last year um, uh, I searched the Yahuha in the in the in the uh, um, uh, YouTube, even the Facebook. Then they 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 came up that their Sabbath is the same with the pagan Sabbath that they celebrated. Then I am glad that promote the truth uh i studying you the the promote the truth uh site even now i just reviewing so that when i came to the outside and proclaimed the the name of yahuha i have uh, the knowledge that whatever the the uh the throne to me i could answer in the name of yahuha then thank you for uh for uh brother jay that uh i even though i cannot be on live but i still replay the, the video so that i can catch up everything my wife is also and my children uh we we, we stop the children teaching because uh, the manual is um uh only the pagan name uh jesus christ then we stop it then eventually uh he changed the name yahusha defines defines it uh, last last day uh, right. because uh we we have a connection with the church that they have the books the bibles that they given to us then uh when we when we decided to uh to follow yahuha we we change but we 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 have a difficulty in changing because their manual is uh the, the name of jesus then uh, my wife is a, uh they translated to yahusha yahuha so then they finish it because the the topic is more on uh, 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 Jesus Christ. So thank you and thank you for inviting me this uh, moment and all of the other family members uh, watching us and shalom everyone. Uh, you got people from all over the place and there's going to be thousands of people watch the replay of this, Elmer. And so you decided to get to take take control of your children's education. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Right. And you can now we, we're, we're going to empower people to get their children. Like I read a quote yesterday, Elmer. It says only a fool will let the enemy teach their children. Yeah, that's true. Yes, true. Only a fool will let the enemy teach their children. And a lot of people think because it's organized school, which is no different than organized religion. It's organized to do what? To lead you down a certain path. So as far as your as far as your journey, how did you find promote the truth in the first place? Do you remember? Yeah. Uh I found out promote the truth in the Facebook and also in uh actually my wife introduced me. Uh, oh, so she found uh, promote the truth first. Yeah, yeah, because of the Shabbat. Because okay, so when, when did she find when did she find when did she find promote the truth? Do you remember? Uh midweek of December. Oh, this recently, 2023. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So uh because uh last uh September, October, I always searched, I always told her that uh, the name of our creator is Yahuwah. So mm -hmm. they always searching the 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 site, then the the she found out that uh, there was uh, promote the truth. Then uh, later on, I did not mind that, but uh, she she always listening to your videos. Then okay. I heard, then she she introduced to me. Then we found the promote the truth in, in Facebook and also in uh, uh, YouTube. Okay, so she finds it, and and somebody at brother Robert Aronson was asking. Has Elmer got his package yet? He's already got the bronze. You're already at a bronze package, right, Elmer? Yeah. Yes. Thank you for the uh, sponsors. I yeah. The so, so he was contributing the best he could. We was watching, Elmer. We saw you contribute multiple times, you know, and, and, and you can tell when somebody, they, they got, they give it all they got. So, Elmer, we saw you contribute one, two, three, four, five, about six different times. It was like eight dollars here, forty-five dollars there, thirty-one dollars there. One time you did three dollars there. Tell everybody why did y'all decide to contribute to the True Scriptures project? We decided to contribute. Even my wife, 
uh, we agree everything the even the contribution because uh, who this uh, promote the truth uh, uh, we decided that if we contribute we are part of uh, we are part of the changing world uh, right now then uh, uh, my wife right now uh, she had uh, got a job in the hospital because she's a nurse they de she decided decided for her first salary they wa she want to co contribute it first in uh, we call that uh, first fruit as uh, she said first fruits uh, right uh, she want to uh, give it everything in the promote the truth for the kingdom advancement of yahuwah Wow. So she said her first check at the hospital, yeah, yeah. she wants to contribute the first fruits, all of it, to sow yeah. it into the kingdom. Now, what, what do you believe when you sow into the kingdom? Because Yahuwah says, I give seed to the sower. What do you believe will happen with that kind of faith? So um, I believe when I'm in, in Yahuwah, there is, uh, we call that peace of mind between my wife and I. Even to my children, uh, uh, when we are promoting the name of Yahuwah first in our lives, in our children, then we we have a peace of mind, uh, so-called understanding, uh, unlike before. So we we contribute everything the best that we can, even the small amount of dollar. Uh, we contribute it because uh, I want. We want to be part of this kingdom advancements in the near future so that uh, every four corners of the world will be spread the word of Yahweh, even here, because I believe here in uh, Negros Oriental Philippines, maybe, maybe uh, uh, first, we are the, the, the first one to, uh, the first to believe that Yahusha is Yahuwah. Hallelujah. <laughs> All right, Alina, you hearing this? I want to make sure Alina's hearing this. He said he believes in his region in the Philippines. They're the first to believe that Yahusha is Yahuwah. What, what kind of questions maybe you got for I Elma? That. I know you dialed this up, Lena. I'm going to turn it over to you. Now, I'm Come very again. excited. And, and I know, Elmer, that a lot of people here in the chat, they're just very uh, excited to see you, to hear directly from you, because the letter that you sent, it was a uh, mouth dropping. I was in yeah. shock. I'm like, he he got that courage because a lot of people uh, is scared. They're scared of what others are gonna think or what you know. The power of the church, you know, this organized religions is really strong. So they're afraid to, you know, get into some conflicts with other people. So uh, are you having challenges with persecution? Or, or any of these kinds with your family that you can tell people, but you also can encourage them to go through them because you know you're doing the right thing. Yeah, uh, before that letter, a letter that I I gave to them uh, in the first place, the 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 one that I addressed, the she did not uh, accept it. So what I did is uh, I went to the office of the. Uh, we call church in our organization, uh, but uh, I, I made a timing that uh, that only the 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 staff over there. So I gave it to her and make a uh, receive and sign. Then I I I made uh, ten copies. Uh, the one that uh, the copy furnace. I, I give everything. Uh, I hope that they will read also. Then. They always called me, and they they, they said, "Why did you do this? Why did you do this?" They, they keep on chatting me, but I didn't reply because I I didn't I argue with them because they will not understand me. Right. So I, I didn't I, I didn't uh, answer. Even I I turned off my phone uh, right now. So they they always said, "Why did you do this? What happened?" They always calling me calling me and have a conference with them so what i did i, I did not uh go them because uh, i believe that they will not believe yahuwah so so uh they they persecute me because uh what i believe now so i believe 
Yahuwah will give me a, a courage. So even even the one who is listening now, uh, uh, I made that letter to make it sure uh, that I been uh, detached to the to the word of we call uh, Jesus Krishna. So I made it. At, I signed them. Then I, I put in the last page is uh, we call that. Uh, uh, therefore, I I I renounce and denounce the name of Jesus Christ. Henceforth, uh, we proclaim uh, Yahuwah uh, Yahuwah over our life, and I, we believe even my children. I, I I teach them that I teach them that Yahusha is Yahuwah. Then we we later on we we uh, uh, we keep Sabbath. Then. Uh, to those who are listening right now, uh, I may encourage you to, if you are has a fear over the organization, make it a, a right, right to them. Or if they didn't accept that letter, I made a decision in my mind that I will mail it uh, and has a return sender so they can uh, receive it, the letter. So everything, I laid it down. Uh, the annexes, I didn't put in the telegram because it's only uh, has on the uh, uh, a side of the promote the truth so every everyone who is listening now uh, i may encourage everyone that uh those who have fear so me i decided we decided 100 percent over our life my family that we we denounce we renounce jesus christ and we proclaim yahuwah yahusha is yahuwah over our lives mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How you feel about that, man? How you feel about that, man? I love it. And I think you said something very uh, smart and a lot of wisdom in you, Elmer. And I think this is important for everyone that is listened to. And those are coming into the uh, name of Yahuwah and learning of the, his ways. Something that you said is that you decided to don't reply to them because you knew yeah. it was going to get into arguments. And that's something that a lot of people need to understand. Like you, you can, you can put a seed in people. You don't need to come and convince them because then you're going to get into arguments and that's going to drain your soul and you, it's going to yeah. take energy yeah. out of yourself. So that's, uh, that's something to learn from that, from those that are coming into the, into the name of Yahuwah or those that have been in that and are in that, in that, in that way of, of fighting and going, especially social media also can take you into this argument and battle in between comments and don't try to be right. Just yeah. say what you have to say one time and, and ignore and ignore those that scriptures actually even told us that don't don't cast your perils to swan. So uh, that's a good uh, teaching lesson right there. And I'm very proud of you, but your wife too. Yes. Uh, yeah. uh, please say, say hi to her. I uh, will be praying on you and your family because that that is what we always talk about the that that, that you know that the team having the wife and the husband supporting each other uh your wife bringing that information you bringing the yahoo name into you so uh you to her and her bringing the shabbat so it was a great combination to uh, get in yeah. the right ways. Hey, hey, Lena, I got a surprise. I, t I called my dad because your letter impressed my dad. Now, he's 76 going on 77. It impressed him so much. He's standing here. Over, I just called him mother of dad. You want, that's Elmer from down in the Philippines, dad. Hello, so, brother so, Elmer. So come, come right, get Hi. right. There you go. Yo. Hello. What, what do you want to say to him, man? I want to say it was tremendous because you broke it down from the beginning to the end, telling them exactly the truth the way it's always been for years. I was so impressed on how you handled that. You handled that with just, just, just really, just it was wonderful. And then you expressed the truth. You broke from the beginning to the end, and I was overwhelmingly impressed because for years I've been digging, and and my son finally found out the, the whole truth, and I'm really impressed with you and him. Thank you. And so, hey, so, so, Daddy, you gonna use that letter? Absolutely. <laughs> I thought, I thought, my dad was so impressed with Joe. He I tell you what, that letter. He's he's printing them off, Elmer. He said he's gonna hand them out to everybody around the way. He's gonna work. So look at that with you. One person 
It only takes a spark to light a fire, Elmer. So, you know, we're proud of you. But how that make you feel having my dad come and say that to you, Elmer? Oh, I feel that uh, uh, that everyone, uh, uh, I believe that Yahua please with that letter because uh, everybody, everyone, those who read that, uh, I, I think they are uh, impressed because of my decision made in the that letter then I, I i researched also that letter then we we i and my wife decided 100 percent to give it that letter to, to our organization wow. and we uh, absolutely I, I detached with them i i don't have any communication with them hey lena can you uh have them pin that letter just one more time babe just for a little bit people yes. ask how how we get the letter you go to our telegram group a lot of people know how to get the we got people emailing us go how do we get a copy of elmer's letter uh, uh go to pttgram.com everybody if you're not on our telegram channel you got to go to pttgram look at that there's a he got a copy right on his phone right all right that letter that exact letter the stamp is signed by elmer and and backed by his beautiful wife, I guess mean, what? Look at that. And he got his stamp. You're not playing. Now, why did you go to that length, Elmer? Why did you go to the length of just professionalizing that letter like that, that resignation and that, that denouncing of Jesus? Um, I made this in order to, to, to show to them and even to the world that I put into writing not, not not only in verbal action. I put this so that it will be documented here, even to our Yahua uh, show so this. Uh, it's very important to 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 write a letter because it's it's I think uh, uh, writing a letter is uh, very important because uh, um, uh, to make it a proof proof that they receive it. My resignation. Uh, so I here I I put the the receive uh, uh, receive and the the staff there. So very important to have a letter so that it will be documented to us. Yes, and we can share it to the other. Uh, uh, how strong we are in the kingdom of Yahuwah and how strong uh, I, I follow the name of Yahuwah yes. and to my family. That's what I'm talking about right there. Everybody got to figure out to get their witness and see, this is how I know you've been immersed into his name. Yeah. Because it says in Mahashim Acts 1.8, you will receive power. Hallelujah. When the set of our spirits come upon you. So did, did, did it promote the truth that our message that our ministry, did that help you and your wife to get immersed in the Yahoo and get and grab that power? Did that help you? Yes. Tell yes, everybody, uh, what, what, how did Promote the Truth help you? Because, you know, all we're doing is working. We're sowing the seeds. We we got to get the feedback from y'all to tell us how did we help you get to where you're at now, to get that courage. Promote, uh, promote the Truth channel, even the sites, the website, uh, help us our spiritual growth in Yahuwah because uh, everything, uh, Promote the Truth channel, put it there. Uh, only to, to the one to put a time, have a time, study, research it. Uh, everything is in the channel of Promote the Truth. And thank you for the the releasing of the first Yohanan, even the Abari, Abarim. Uh, I, I studied it. I, I, I study and if I finish it, I go over uh, that one. Then other, uh, even the, the, the calendar, the calendar, in the site, uh, I I studied it all over again. So <laughs> the the promote the truth it help us to grow our spiritual even to our the, our children. Uh, it 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 help us. It helped me even my family, my my own uh, life, a spiritual life. It it really helped us to to bring back to the name of Yahuwah and. Bye. It helped us that the also the Ten Commandments we should uh, uh, keep it because it's a perfect commandment to the humanity. Even yes. it says in the double commandment, in the great commandments, it's everything there. 
So, 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 so when you went, so you went to that promote the truth page, and you saw how we broke down the commandments and made it simple. Did you and your wife and family go through that? Yes, yes, we 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 go through that uh, channel, and I I always uh, read that read that uh, channel, even everything, uh, everything. Uh, but but I in order to understand, we keep on reading it, reading it back again so that uh, every day that if we read read the word there is something new to us to understand yeah because it's live that word is live isn't it isn't it now have you know one last thing i like to ask you before we let you get out of here because we got another special surprise coming up have you noticed that since you called on and got immersed into the name of yahuwah when you read scripture verses you can see them in a whole nother level now yeah, that's true. That's true. It's right. Uh, upon reading the the Hebrew, the Abarim, um, a lot of uh, great things that uh, we learn. Even the uh, we uh, first, I compare it to the to the, to the called the uh, the Bible, and it's so uh, uh, far from the truth that the Bible written everything there. So, uh, upon reading the, the truth scripture, it gives us an uh, uh, opportunity to, to, to dip more on Yahuwah's presence uh, and keep on learning uh, the, the commandments of our Creator. So, very, uh, very, uh, the promote the truth. Uh, uh, writings, even the 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 Yahuhanan, uh first, uh, even the the power study guide. It's so powerful. Uh, it's so powerful. <laughs> if, yes. we, if we read that, uh, everything. I I had to put that in there because you know some folk. We got a lot of new people, Lena. I don't know if you noticed that. There's a lot of new people all listening in. All right, let me give y'all uh, get y'all up to speed. When he says the the Yahuhanan. And the Abari. So Yahoo Han is that sign name for you know it is John. That's a, John's a pagan name for the scriptural name Yahoo Han. Yahoo Han means Yahuwah is grace. All right. Abari Abarim is Hebrew. So the real name for Hebrews is Abarim. So we have, as we're translating scriptures, we're selecting around five different books of the Brit Adash, that's New Testament, and five of the Tanakh, Old, Old Testament, and we're putting them on our digital scriptures platform. So if you go over to truth, scriptures.info, you'll see where you can get access. Now, this is important. What I'm going to tell you, this is important. What I'm going to tell you, if you are a package member over at tsnt.org, so look up on my screen right underneath me, you'll see it says tsnt.org. If you're at least a bronze package member, you get free access to these every time we release them. Now, when we release them, you heard Brother Elmer said, they've got the power study guides. Now, this will be continually added on to because it's not only the power study guides, it's going to be having power tools, including video training, audio trainings to each one of these chapters. So it gives you the understanding at the highest height that you could ever imagine. So if you are at least a bronze package member, that $20 is around $20 for every time we release one. You never pay that. So we're going to release at least 10. So that's $200 worth of free stuff that you're going to get just by being a package member, but you're going to have a lifetime of benefit. So does your wife get a chance to, to study that with you, uh, brother? Does she get a chance to get in there, Elmer? Yes. Yes, because uh, you know, uh, because we 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 search this because uh, because more a lot of pastors preaching the end times in different view, so so that's why uh, the promote the truth is a very uh, very uh, uh, your writing from the, the the ancient to the modern day. Uh, translating the the authentic word of uh, our creator. So uh, me and my wife uh, studying, reading the the 
uh, the book that uh, releasing in the uh, digital platform in TSNT. And we encourage, I encourage also for those who are listening now that not yet member, uh, uh, just donate uh, even small amount. Uh, I, I know that it will uh, accumulate uh, in the in the promote the truth, uh, promote the truth. So very powerful that the word of Yehuda, if we read it uh, carefully and and with all our understanding, very powerful because it is the truth. It's the truth. That the word is a truth. It's powerful because it's a truth. Uh -huh. I love so it. Unlike the, I, I compare it to the, the the Bible. It's so far away from the truth. <laughs> <laughs> you hear that, Lena? He told the truth there. The Bible. Listen, the everybody think they got yeah, something like the Bible. It, this takes you away from the truth. That's why the true scriptures is going to actually bring people into the truth, and we're going to get the real followers of Yahuwah. Everything in the next two years, if Yahuwah don't come back before then. Is going to be um, amazing. Do you got any parting words for us, Brother Elmer, before you get out of here? Anything you'd like to say to the Promote the Truth uh, community? That's going gonna, gonna to be thousands of people. You got some great final words for us? Okay. Um, to everyone in uh, Promote the Truth family, uh, thank you that I be part of you. And I'm uh, uh, we are the family. And I encourage you to... Uh, Keep on learning the word of Yehuda in uh, promote the truth channel, even to the the releasing, always releasing the the book. And I believe, uh, uh, brother Jay, they are releasing the the Tanakh, and it's so excited. And uh, thank you that uh, everyone who heard my voice and you, uh, even the. Uh, uh, this is the first time that I I am in in the channel, so you you saw me and you hear my voice in my decision in in following Yoha and uh, also pray for me because yes. here in my yes. region uh, we plan it everything that if we have everything tools we that we did before we also did. Uh, um, uh in 200 times uh uh maybe and we did that because this is the real truth that we are bringing it bringing in in the in this can uh, in uh, in my country so i believe that the power of uh, ruwa will be in me in my wife and family and pray also that uh the the we call that uh, persecution will not. Uh, the, uh, I believe persecution is here, but we can uh, 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 understand. We can. I can uh, manage. So everyone who are listening right now uh, in this channel, I encourage you to <clears throat> to we always be in this family. And I believe that if we are together. Uh, we had, and it says in uh, scripture, two or three gathered uh, in the name of Yahuwah. Yeah. Uh, there, the Yahuwah will be in our mind every, everywhere. So, thank you, uh, Brother Jay and Sir Lina, for contacting me and for yeah, this so uh, Operation Spread Teleton. I believe that it will spread everything, even here in my community. It will spread the name of Yahuwah even to this country. Uh, even to the parts to the end of this my community, I believe uh, Yahuha will the Yahuwah's name will be spread spread over here. And Absolutely. thank you and uh, uh, thank you everything. We love you, man. We honor we you. Give you your wife her. a big hug for us. Give our Please sister do. a big old hug. Tell her we're proud of her. Give your children a big hug. Let them know that they're doing the right thing. And Yahuwah is putting a fence around you. I thank you, Yahuwah, Hallelujah. for putting the fence around our brother yes. right here, right now, and his family. All who come in the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Yeah. And so save him, Father, from yes. the persecution that would try to destroy yeah. him. Let that persecution actually accelerate and lift him up yeah. in your name, Hallelujah. Yahuwah. We thank you for that. So thank you, Brother Elmer, for coming Hallelujah. here and sharing your heart with us. Yeah. We love you, brother. Bye-bye. Thank you, Elmer. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Huh? <laughs>
<laughs> what do you think, beautiful. Lena? What do you think? What do you think? That was what beautiful. Think? And look at these messages. Like everybody's saying, Brother Elmer, you and your family are under the protective wings of Yahuwah, so no worries. Thank you, Elmer, for your testimony and agree and pray that all you have asked be done in the name of Yahuwah. Thank you, Brother Elmer, for your testimony. Thank you, Brother Elmer and Elmer's family. Elmer, you've been my prayers journey since Jay shared the letter. It's just a nice testimony, Elmer. Stir pure, shalom, and Yahuwah bless you and your family. Thank you, Brother Elmer, and your family. It's just beautiful, beautiful messages. I think Elmer have been able to be in that seed yep. to be a great witness. And I think is um, encouraging others to go in and spread the truth to release themselves for all these other pressures from the organized religion and and his 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 testimony every time we hear how someone uh came into the name of yahuwah is identifying others uh that was in the same position so i think that's the great that's what i love of having uh our guests in these shows and and and, and, the, and the importance of the telegram group I think everybody needs to make sure you go into pttgram.com and you uh, download the Telegram app and you get into these communications because that's how you learn uh, directly from Promote the Truth on all these things that happen. Like we share um, a lot of the things that are coming to us in our email, but you guys don't even believe the amount of emails we're receiving daily and the amount of messages, uh, inbox in social media, we receive co the comments that we get uh, on the social medias and all the communication we have is amazing. So yes. uh, stay connected, make sure uh, you go to tsnt.org and, and you have it there, tsnt do two dots org. So maybe let's edit that, um, Brother Jay. Was that, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. is that on the street? Is on the screen is tsnt.org. Right right so make sure you go in there. We're doing this to make sure we're able to spread the word of Yahuwah even more. So we need to um, get into um, SEO campaigns. We need to um, go into uh, more ads. And we, we just have to spread the name of Yahuwah. And all these videos, all these testimonies that we're receiving from Elmer, from all the guests that we have in, in, in our past teletons, in our past uh, um, uh, live videos, all that information, we need to spread it. So right now, we, and I would love um, maybe that you give also a quick update on how many books you have been able to translate just in this past uh, month. So what? that would be wow. great to uh, give that update and now the, 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 the push this, this month is being able to spread the word, to come keep supporting, keep pushing the numbers for Jehuah, and then continue the translation process. So, uh, Brother Jay, how many books you have been able to translate? Well, it's, it's been amazing because, as y'all know, we got the all the Yahoo Hanan, first, second, third Yahoo Hanan done. Uh, but also we have Yahuda done. That's the book of Jude. That's finished, done. We've also got Pilamun, uh, which is the Philemon. That book is done. And then we've got Yaakob that just got finished. That's the book of James. It's all done. Lock, loaded, edited. It's rock and roll. I don't know if we're going to release that on the true scriptures or not on the digital, uh, but that's done. And then what we're doing now is we're scrubbing because we promised everybody we're going to get up to five different books. So this is going to be some extra work for me and the team because we are going to release Barashit. Do y'all know what Woo! I'm just saying? That's Genesis on the digital that? collection platform. That's 50 chapters, Lena. Yeah, that, and no, it's not just 50 chapters. That's the Ruth. That's the base. That's the foundation. It's the foundation of the word of Yahuwah. The entire so, word is all based. Everybody got under. Most people don't stop and grip that the entire word is based off of Barashit. That's yeah. why it starts out. It says in the beginning. So we thought 
how much of a blessing would it be for the entire community and world if we released the entire 50 chapters? Now y'all got y'all y'all got to y'all got to put the seat belts on because your learning level Lena, I'm telling everybody's learning level yes. is you're going to go through a whole nother atmospheric different. I don't know where it's going. It's just going to yes. go out into the atmosphere because there's so many Abari names. It took me over a year yeah. to get the translation down and the methods and the consistency over one year. Just to get bear sheet done over yes. a year. I remember that. I mean, it was a task because, and there's some days it would take you, it would take a couple weeks to get through a chapter because of trend, all the pagan names that they've replaced people with, Lena. And yes. so we're going to release that. What's happening right now with the team, they're now going over. Every single chapter. I don't know. It might take them a week or two to do this. I'd say a minimum another week or so. But everybody needs to be ready because that's the next thing we want to release on the truth scriptures. Now, I know we got something else special we did with Tatlan Ahim. Um, I don't know if you got that loaded, locked and loaded, but I know that's no, that up. one. That one is in the process to be uploaded by the team, too. So that one will be up this week, this upcoming week. Oh. I love it. Let me. Yes. So th this is what's happening now. What we're doing now is T uh, two. So we're doing Titus right now. So we're gonna get Titus knocked out probably in the next couple days, and uh, there'll probably be within a week there'll be at least two, probably three more books in the Brita Dash done within the next week will be finished. And so we're just going in, but what, but one of the things we wanted to mix in because we're like, how can we enhance everybody's learning in the yeah. Brita Dot? Well, let's get them in the foundation. And then after yeah. that, we're going to put Shamut up. So you're going to have Genesis, Bereshit, then you're going to have Shamut, Exodus. Those are going to be two back to back. Why we got to do that? Because you got the beginning and then you get the commandments. You see, yes. Now you learn the ways of Yahuwah from the, how did he intend for us to act in the first place? So you got yes. all those good things coming in. So yeah, that's, that's, that, that's a big project. And so, because once brother Jay does the translation, the team goes into the rev the revision of it. Then after the team does the revision of it, brother Jay goes back again. You mean a review, the review, the review. I'm yeah. sorry. Not a revision. The, re <laughs> the review. I'm sorry. Spanish, English. <laughs> um, the review of it, and so there's three reviews done to um, everything that you see, and then the team goes up and start uploading everything into the platform. And this takes uh, time, especially with this. With Barashi is gonna be Barashi is gonna be uh, a lot of work for them to do is 50 chapters, every chapter for those of you that know how the system works. Um, you have everything separated by, by chapters. And for those that have the digital collection with the power studies, you know, there's also a different space for all the uh, power studies of each chapter. So, uh, I know that is probably going to have also the power studies. So it's just all that has been happening. All that just happened in a month. So um, it's, it's been a lot. And I think we're, we're close to, we are on track to hit the goal that we said we, we will have um, all the translation uh, done approximately to the uh, beginning of uh, spring. And from there, it's just editing and sent to print and then sent out for those that uh, gather packs and also uh, put it for sale for those that want to have more copies. Yeah, man. Y'all imagine the Dream Dodge comes out. It's going to be crazy. Now, look, we're doing Kingdom Business. I got a surprise guest coming in. 
Lena don't even know this. I got a surprise guest is in the waiting room right now. But before what? I bring the surprise guest in, I want to give a big shout out because everybody needs to be focused on TSNT.org. What can you do yes. in the telethon today? Everybody can do something. You don't have to do anything. But when Yahoo says, okay, we're getting centered on Operation Spread, we want you to plant a seed in the spread today. Any amount, don't matter. We got people do $3. Some people do $300, whatever. But already, Lena, today, I want to give a report. We got yes. Yahoo Servant 7. Ron came in, $26. We got Jamie Galloway, $20. And Cruz, $10. We got Robert Arenson said, give a bronze pack away to someone. Robert from down in Portugal. <laughs> He just contributed you, over $311.36, covered the fees as well. So somebody today, we're going to bless. Uh, Lena, I think we need to do that like right away so we can bless somebody that wants to be able to have a bronze. That you're not bronze yet, but you want to get to bronze, and you felt like you just given everything you got. Post your message and go, I want to get the bronze. I ain't there yet, but I've been contributing something, and I'm, 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 I'm going for the kingdom. We got Duran Moore, the beautiful brother Duran, $259.92 came in. You, Duran. Way to go. Catherine Rose, $50 came in. She said, I'm going to put my seed in to the kingdom. So everybody get over to TSNT.org and just sow something today. If you believe yes. in it, sow it. If you don't, don't do it. Yahoo gives us call. We got a $30,000 raise we got to do because we're going to pour it in. Now, I'm bringing in this special guest, and he's part of one of Operation Spread, and that's Brother Nerob, all the way down in Venezuela. So we don't have Brother Elmer over in the Philippines. Now we got Brother Nerob in Bangladesh. I think it's about 10.30 p.m. there. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Nerob. So we have Elmer on. I don't know if you got just to see Elmer and Nerob. But we got Elmer was at 12 o'clock and his time in the Philippines. So we're blessed to have you here with us. I've been going over this two-year project plan that you put out. Yeah. I want to introduce the whole community here on this live telethon to Brother Nira from Bangladesh. That's over there right next to India. What in the world are you doing? Tell everybody as best you can real quick. How did you get to promote the truth? What do you feel about what we're doing here in the name of Yahuwah and your background heavy in Christianity, an evangelist pastor that renounced that that's come to Yahuwah? Talk to us, Brother Nirav. What you got? Yeah, shalom, everybody. Thank you so much. I am so excited for this moment. And this is the first time I am meeting Sister Lena. There you go. Later. Nice to uh, meet you to see you in person. Yeah. And I, I, I knew a little bit Spanish. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> so so uh, as far as my journey has concerned, uh, I am very happy uh, to uh, march forward, promote the truth and to Yahuwah. And uh, I was so excited. And uh, I, I told uh, Brother Jay that uh, I was watching and watching all the videos and my mom observed everything, but she said nothing. But suddenly she said, what is this? Why you are watching all the videos and who is Yahuwah? And I thought this is my opportunity and she will be the first person that I could share. So I shared that Yahuwah is the almighty and he is the most powerful and most high. And she thought, uh, give me some minutes, give me some moments. I, I, I have to think. Then she, uh, she went for uh, some kind of uh, like meditation or something like that. I don't know what was that. She was separated from us. I, along with my sister, we were worried. What, what is happening? Why my mom uh, just uh, didn't respond? She heard the name of Yahuwah and she was silent. Just. And after this, she said, Oh, I think someone is knocking at my heart that I should follow Yahuwah. Wow. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so your mom, she's watching you watch yeah. these videos. You then witnessed yeah, yeah, to yeah. her about Yahuwah's the most high. And, and she knows you. 
<laughs> she knows me watching the video. Okay, okay, this is great. All right, so you witness to her that Yahuwah is the most high. And then she yeah. all of a sudden stops and, and just goes into yeah. a, medi a, a meditation or something? Yeah, yeah, like that. Just silent. <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> you, and your, you and your siblings couldn't figure out what, how long was she silent like that? Yeah, she was just like uh, closing her eyes and uh, just took some time. And after that, she spoke. That wow. Someone is uh, knocking at my heart that Yahuwah is the Almighty. <laughs> what do you think, Lena? I want to hear Lena come in on this. What do you think about this witness, Lena? Talk to Brother Nira. I think it's beautiful because... The way you, you, you came and, and the way of um, humble you're just being into the name of Yahuwah and how much you want to learn about it. And the way you came in to promote the truth, thinking that we was like an organized religion and you was yeah, asking yeah, yeah. for help in the Christianity. And then yeah, yeah. the answer back of, uh, no, that uh, we are not a, a Christian. You actually need to learn about the name. And normally... People will just ignore that or they will say, what are you talking about? And they just gone. But you 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 answer back saying, uh, what what do you like? It sounds like you you you're right. <laughs> let me let me let me learn more. And you keep digging into it. And then uh getting with brother Jay in 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 a in in a in a in a, in a conference call and then yeah. taking the big step and saying, I'm leaving everything that I have learned before. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming into Yahuwah's life, like, right away. I'm not waiting. I'm just going to learn it away when I'm just immerse myself and I'm going to receive this name. And and then starting to listen to all this. And for us as humans, like our mothers are that first connection that we have there. And, and being able to have her back to back with you in this big step that you're taking, having her walking with you, um, in it, I'm pretty sure it has to be the most warmful uh, feeling ever. Yeah. Uh, because maybe you didn't even know how she was going to take it, right? Like, when you learn about Yahoo, you're like, well, even if my mom take it or not, I'm going. Yeah. Because yeah. I felt that from you, that you, your passion for Yahoo was so big that you said, I don't care who's following me. I'm living with my mom, with my family. If they don't listen, I'm going to keep going. Um, but hearing to that testimony where your mom said, I, I can see the truth and I'm going to trust yeah. my son that he's bringing me the truth into this house yep. and, and supporting you. I think that's the biggest support that on earth we can have. And, hmm. and you know, sister, uh, she, she is unable to understand English and she only speaks Bengali. She is unable. And she is saying, what is the name of uh, uh, this man uh, about Brother Jay? So I was saying, uh, his name is uh, Jay. And he is saying, he is like my uh, elder son, because your name is Joy and he is Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you, give your mama, you give your mama a big old hug from me. Yeah, from me too. From uh, Mr. Uh, Selena too. She going, I mean, we, we're sending love out now. Yes. Brother D. Rob, this is great. I want y'all to hear because we got to go to work for the kingdom. The scripture yes. says the harvest is plentiful. It's massive, but the workers are few. Pray to the Father Yahuwah. It, it tells us that Yahushua HaMashiach, when he was on the earth, he said, pray to the Father for more workers. What's going on with the lack of workers? Well, what's going on is it's been so few people plant a stake and go, I'm going to work. And so we got workers' hearts here at Promote the Truth. And what attracted me most to you, Brother Nirob, is I felt that you got a worker's heart for the harvest. And so Nirob sent me a letter. I'm going to read this part of this letter that you wrote, so you're going to get to hear yourself in your words here. Yeah, yeah. He wrote this letter, and then I want you to comment. He says, I praise Yahuwah. I have been doing so-called ministry and evangelical work, quote, in the Christian community for the last five years. But when I encountered the truth, I surrendered myself. 
I took the time to repent in the name of Yahuwah and commit my life to keeping his commandments and following him. I resigned from my previous uh, wrong assignment in the Christian church, and I want to go forward in the right intention with truth. I don't have any worries about material things like money and funds, but feel power to keep an eye toward specific and certain directions that Yahuwah is telling us in seeking the kingdom and his righteousness first, and all these things will be added to you. I want to thank my spiritual mentor, Elder J. Nolan, for his efforts for the kingdom of Yahuwah. He has been a blessing for me and my family. I obey the superiority because Yahuwah made leadership to good governance and development of disciples like me. I am praying to do more work for Yahuwah and thus I feel the fire to submit these work plans for the next two years where we can witness the power and authority of Yahuwah in the nation of Bangladesh and in the Indian subcontinent where 99% don't know his true name. Now watch this. You say, Brother Nirob, your 2024 plan, we're talking with the family. Y'all tell me if y'all think it's a good thing or not. Let's talk about Brother Nirob's plan. This is the first time I'm getting to dial in on this. He says, I feel the fire to help translate to promote the truth website into Bangla-E. How do you say that? Bengali? Yeah, Bengali. Bengali. Okay. So we want to get the website translated. It takes a lot of time, effort, and energy, money into Bengali, his native language, which is spoken by 275 million people predominantly in Bangladesh and in India, West Bengal. The motive is to make available the Promote the Truth website to approximately 235 million native speakers and another 40 million as a second language speakers. Bengali is the fifth most spoken native language and the sixth most spoken language by total number of speakers in the world. I don't think most people knew that in the world. So we're talking about the sixth most spoken language in the world, fam. We can start a branch office of Promote the Truth here in Bangladesh. From there, we can operate our works as well to use for local programs in Kahal. I like that name, by the way. You know, Kahal means called out ones of Yahuwah. Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, Kahal yeah. literally means called out ones of Yahuwah. So he talks about the things he wants to do from the office and, the, and how to get that established, which we can, we're going to be discussing with him. We can arrange programs for 100 youth every two months where we can teach them in a full day program and then have a Q&A session with them so that we can allow them to follow Yahoo and promote the truth. In a year, we can arrange six programs to reach at least 600 youth. By three years, we want to reach at least 1,800 youth countrywide. Then he lays out the, the, the how to go do that. And then he talks about how we can get the brochures in, in order to get them in the hands. And then he says, we can voice over all the Promote the Truth videos in the, Bangli, in the Bengali language. Thus, we can start content making in the native languages of, of Asia region, Asia region, especially in the Indian subcontinent. On the other hand, I want to translate, help, help to translate the complete New Testament scripture in the Bengali language. So see <coughs> what's going on, fam, is that we are we are calling out to Yahuwah to bring forth the right people, but they must be immersed into Yahuwah's name. So that's why with you, Brother Nairab, you saw I gave you strict stuff to do for a few weeks to see if you come out on the other side and you still got a heart for Yahuwah. But then I wanted to see, do I get an understanding? Yahuwah, give me a sign. Talk to me as your servant, Yahuwah that he has been immersed because if he's immersed, he's going to have the power to witness for you. That's going to be a sign. So when you told me the story about your mother, that was the sign that you've been immersed into the name of Yahuwah because the right immersion will have the effect, a powerful impact. See, most people don't get that about your witness. When you are immersed, your words and your aura has a whole different level to where it impacts people to want to know about Yahuwah. That's what happened with your mom. Thus, we can put together both online 
app and offline printed versions, which will be distributed by those potential youth. So he's focusing on the youth, smart, who were developed by us. We can acquire land even and build a transformation center if we'd like, where youth can go to for seven days transformation to make disciple making process to generate a generation of soldiers for Yahuwah that will be passionate about Yahuwah and promote the truth. By five years, we can transform at least a thousand potential youth who will be future workers for Yahuwah. How y'all feel about what brother Nirav said? Put it in the chat. What y'all thinking about this? Huh? It's some work. Now, brother Nirav, why do you feel to work like this? What's going on? Talk to us. Now, you get to talk to the nation of Yahuwah about this. Talk to them. Yeah, yeah. Actually, brother, uh, I was praying, I was praying, I was praying, and I thought how I can compensate my time that last five years I have wasted my time doing so-called ministry and so-called everything. So I want to com compensate everything. And that's why I, I cried to Yahuwah that please show me a way. And, and, and he clearly told me that you have got the mentor you have got the material, so go ahead. And thus I thought that I have the power of reaching the youth, so I will use that capacity. I, I will use that uh, uh, material and all the matters that already you have been working for last 30 years to uh, develop uh, the materials and collecting the materials, especially from 2007. Directly you are doing everything. and. Uh, from uh, maybe 2020, you are in front. So I know all the stories about your life because I have watched <laughs> all the videos. Uh, so so I, I am very much uh, uh, in, in the way marching forward uh, because I thought that I have to do the less work because everything Yahuwah has made you to uh, show a guidance for us. So I Thank Yahuwah. I praise Yahuwah that he has put a leader in front of us that we can march forward and we can do. And you know, youth, they are powerful. They have the fresh blood. So I think we should use that power for the, uh, for the establishment of the name of Yahuwah in this nation. Hey, this is, this, this is the way. See, Yahuwah going to do a thing. And he's showing me in these nations that are underserved, like a Colombia, like a Bangladesh, right? Like different parts of Africa, different parts of Asia. See, we can get that word out there fast, but it's going to take funds. It's going to take resources. So one of the another goals is that I knew I got this letter here. I knew the initiative that we had. If we want to take on some more aggressive things and promote the truth and having the people with the right heart. Well, we got to turn the funding up. We got again, this is all gonna come down. We're gonna end up needing and gonna end up sowing millions of dollars into the kingdom. We're gonna do it. I don't know how it's gonna happen, Nirav, but it's gonna come and it's gonna be pressed down, shaking together, and running, and we're gonna help so many people get the truth. And we're gonna be advertising against all these pagan words. We're gonna go head to head to tear down all these pagan words and snatch people out of the fire. So you're, 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 you're passionate about it. You want, this is another one that resigned. Now tell everybody what happened, that you you were a full-time evangelist pastor, correct? Yeah. The church in that region was supporting you. About how many people did that church and their outreach reach? How many people were involved in that? Do you have any idea? Yeah, uh, maybe uh, five thousand people. Five thousand people. So that so this is a this is spread out. This is heavy. And Nero was working full time for them. And then tell people what you did when you found the truth of Yahoo through promote the truth. Tell them what you did. Yeah, when when I found the truth, uh, I would say when I encountered uh, Yahoo at that time, I I thought uh, this is the time. I I shouldn't take time that uh, from next month from uh, next week, I didn't say that. I thought this is the moment, this is the time. I have to repent, I have to uh, uh, leave behind everything because I thought 
uh, that Yahuwah has uh, showed me everything. So now I know the truth. I know how to go ahead. I have all the materials. I have my mentor and everything. So I shouldn't take time. I will go ahead and I will leave behind everything. I will resign. They, they said many things to me. They were arguing why you are resigning. What is the problem? I said nothing. I said I will come back. I will come back with the truth and I will show you that what is the truth because I want to say brother uh, one thing that whenever I, I used to do the ministry uh, many uh, radical groups and many people they would say that Bible has been corrupted yes that time that time I told them I was debating that no 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 Bible is not is not corrupted but now I know if the name is changed then 100% Bible is corrupted. Fact. You are agree or not? That one thing tells you the Bible, and, and even the word Bible is corrupted. Does everybody understand that these two words are pagan words? I mean, when you when that set home with you, and it took promote the truth to get you to understand that, I believe, that when, yeah, yeah, yeah. when you look at those two words, it's just a fact. This is not like Nirok. This ain't something that's even debatable. These are two pagan words. And people are betting their, inter their eternal life on the cover is pagan. So if the cover is yeah. pagan, what do you think the guts are going to be? You see? And this is what we're tearing down through people like Nick Lee Rob. Now, that support, that financial support that takes care of you, you got your mother, who else do you have to provide for? Yeah. Actually, uh, whenever I told them that uh, I was committed for the organization and I used to do work for you, but now now I am uh, I am not arguing that you didn't pay me. They they were furious. That time I thought how they could serve uh, their their uh, so called G O D J E S U S <laughs> that they discriminated. And, and they actually exterminated my all the uh, thoughts and everything. But I, I didn't lose hope. I thought I would pray and Yahua is the provider, he will provide. And there is my mentor and uh, my sister. So I think I have everything. I have got that. Y'all gotta understand, we're sitting back. He don't know, he just tell us, he just giving us a report what's going on. We're watching it and we yeah. know he's gonna get persecuted. And so they were supposed to pay him another month. And in and, and, and your first thing you told me, you said, starting the month, pagan month, February, that's when I'm going full time in the ministry for Yahuwah. And, yeah. and, 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 and what happened was they cut you off immediately. You thought you still had resources coming in. And then you said, well, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to trust. And so we, I got to tell y'all, nation of, of, of Yahuwah. We sent Brother Nirob some funds to help him and his mom and his family immediately be able to have that gap support. Did that help you out, Brother Nirob? Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, what was that able to do for I, you and your family, that, that initial support that we came and provided through Promote the Truth, through our family here? This is your family that came in and helped you. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that time, uh, you, you know, my, 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 my mom was observed everything. So, so I, I thought, I thought... Uh, she is also uh, getting some blessings immediately. So, so when whenever I, I I got the fund, I I I, I got some uh, food and something, some basic items. So, so she asked me, "You you are resigned. So, how how you got?" So I thought, "You you believed in the name of Yahuwah. So here is the result." <laughs> so, <laughs> so she knew you was cut off and there ain't no food coming in the house and y'all got to figure out a way and all of a sudden Yahuwah comes in through the Promote the Truth family to provide that support and now that's a witness that's what Yahusha did they gave him, give him some yeah. fish give him the bread that's why we got to build up the storehouse to build up the treasury of Yahuwah and somebody's got to be great stewards now y'all can go do this any way y'all want one thing you watched that he told y'all he's done watched all the videos. It's a lot of videos. Yeah. And you you never heard me ask people for a dime those three years. Not one dime. And I asked anybody for anything. It wasn't until Yahuwah said, Go and bring my word, the correct word in this world. 
And I said, Father, you but know, brother, go ahead, bro. But brother, one thing I, I want to say that uh, I watched the video and you, you never ask for every fi any funds or anything to anyone. That time, uh, I, I realized a sentence and, and Yahuwah gave me a sentence that uh, if anyone don't support, promote the truth, then also promote the truth will go ahead because Yahuwah is the provider. But, <laughs> but, but we don't want our family to be out of the journey. We want each and everybody to be a part of our journey. That's why we are allowing to contribute to promote the truth because yes. we want everyone. That's what hit me. Yahuwah said, yeah. open it up and let people pour in and then go be great stewards and then watch me spread. Now, I didn't know exactly how Yahuwah was going to do it because I said, Yahuwah, for me to go pull team off of doing take care of your life work, because we've been putting people don't, I don't think everybody understands this. I'm going to make sure I'm going to say it again, d -Rock. Since 2007. So I met Lena in 2012. So even before I met Lena, we poured tons of money in to promote the truth and the upkeep and spreading the message out. And nobody knew who we were. Nobody knew nothing. Yes. I meet Lena 2012 all the way to 2020. That's eight years. No, Nobody knew who we were. They didn't know it was me. They didn't know it was Lena. They didn't know any of us. We just was pouring money in, creating all kind of content, pouring out in the world. Then Yahuwah said, look, get on and go talk. I want you. It's like something came in me, Brother Nee Robin said. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I want you to hit. I want you to hit the button and I want you to go proclaim my name. Tell them who you are and how I sent you. Tell them your story. So I just in 2020, I said, all right, y'all can go look at it. It's all we got to yes. document. You can even see the video quality don't look good in the beginning. Because yeah. I'm just sitting there on my, my little computer just hitting live. And then we'd upload it. And then, and Brother Pro, uh, Robert Powley told you, he goes, there was about seven, eight videos come out. And they would come out every two or three months, you know. And then, and he was like, man, I need more videos. Robert Powley's the one that kept pressing me from Budapest Hungary. He kept saying, Jay, come on, man, please, can you give us more content? Yeah. So I'm busy trying to, I'm getting attacked from a hundred thousand different angles trying to kill me. And finally I can hear Yahuwah say, just go talk and watch what we do. I said, all right, father. And then we, and then all of a sudden he goes, you keep translating the translation. This is brother D-Rob, it's a trip. You know what I mean? Because if you watch the videos in the beginning, do you notice, Nero? I keep translating the translations. Yeah. Right? And I didn't yeah. know that Yahuwah was setting me up by me translating continually the translations to go, why you keep translating the translations when you know they're all corrupt and you understand the Abari and the Aramaic, the Hebrew and the Aram and Aramaic? Why don't you just write it down what you're translating, all the words? But do the whole thing. Can you imagine when I felt that on my heart, brother Nero? That calling. What would you feel like if that calling came on you to translate the entire scriptures? What would you feel? Yeah, sometimes I I think that we have power, we have everything, but still we are uh, not so confident, or maybe, or we 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 are not so understandable like that, because because you know everywhere is air, but if a balloon. Uh, you, you you need some air, but everywhere is here. Yes. So like that. everybody see it when that balloon go up, everybody see it. So yeah. we just said go. And when I figured out that I, that calling was actual, and then we just started doing it. And then I said, well, how can we accelerate this thing because it's taking so much time and resources? It was just unbelievable. I'm like Yahoo. He says, let people sow into it. Let them be blessed. Like when y'all so into it, don't you feel what like the stories that are coming in and now he go, oh, here's some of this money coming in. Take it and go do what I taught you to do in business, but do kingdom business. Yeah, yeah. 
Go ahead and, and, and do the video. Take the level of the production up. Go ahead and, and pour it into advertising like you've been doing in business, but do it in kingdom business. Now watch. Last month, just on YouTube, family. Listen to this, Brother Nero. Last month, 229,100 people watched our videos. Hallelujah. Nobody was watching videos almost four years ago. That was awesome. And now, and look, it says, I got a screenshot. I want to read y'all what happened since we started this project. And y'all tell me how y'all feel about contributing. Here go the screenshot I took this morning. Here we go. Your hard work paid off. Publishing more content on your channel got you 419% more views than usual. You got 229,100 views, which is more than the 25,000 to 57,000 you normally get on your channel. Now, what does that say to you, Brother Nero? So we were getting twenty five to 57,000 before we started the Truth, Camp, Truth Scriptures campaign, right? The push for the New Testament and the real Brit Dodge. Now we went to four, what did it say? 400 plus percent, 419% more once everybody started contributing and started pouring into the project. What does that tell you, Brother Nero? Yeah, I, I I would like to say about uh, that brother from Hungary, uh, maybe brother Robert. So when I was watching a live video that time, maybe uh, you were saying or, uh, from that time, uh, I thought that brother from Hungary is hungry for promote the truth. <laughs> the brother from Hungary is hungry. That's so true. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look, look at Ron. Yahoo Service 7 said 30, 60, 100 fold. You see? Now watch. Yeah. We got 95% of those people of the 229,000, 95% were new people yeah. that had never seen our videos before. Go oh, forth Yahoo and make disciples. Huh? Yahoo is on the move. He's on the move. Now watch this. 41% of them watched content from January. This is a pagan January uh, numbers. 41%, but then 39% went back. So of the new people, 41% watched the new stuff, but 39% went back and watched the videos from August to December. 20% went back and looked at the videos from the beginning up until from six months ago to the beginning. So what we did is by increasing our awareness out there, by everybody contributing to the True Scriptures Project, now we got new people coming in like crazy watching our stuff. That generated 12,455 likes. But this is the big number, Brother Nero. You as an evangelist, which is your calling, we got 4,869 people shared the videos. What does that say to you as an evangelist? Yeah, sharing means caring, I think, because I have got the truth, so I should share to my loved one, beloved one, so that they can also get the test of the truth. That's like, that's amazing. Now, we got to understand, fam, that those numbers are staggering, but they're not even close to what we're getting ready to do. If, if we do what we're supposed to do in the kingdom, if we as the kingdom of Yahoo, if we handle kingdom business, those numbers are supposed to get dwarfed. We're supposed to go into the millions of exposures because the higher the number we get in the ratios, a certain percentage of people go, I've been waiting for this. Just like a Neron. See, we increased. Yeah. The, you got to us because we increased the outreach. outreach. And so any parting words you want to share with the family of Yahoo as we close up this session and, and we can let you get to sleep down there in Bangladesh. Any parting words for the community? <laughs> Thousands of people going to watch this. Talk to them, brother. Yeah, I want to say to the family that uh, 
Nirobi is one of them, but there are many Nirobs, thousands of Nirobs. They are watching the content, they are uh, uh, going to the promote the truth and all the activities that uh, our Yahua has put on the heart of uh, Brother Jay and Sister Lina and all the team. They are working hard because Yahua has given a mission to them, a vision to them. And I always, I, I, I realize sometimes whenever I am uh, uh, sleeping before my sleep, I always think why Yahua has chosen Brother Jay. Maybe for his versatile life, he was an athlete, he was business, he was motivational speaker and all the stuff. But Yahua has put everything blended together for his kingdom and righteousness. So I say, dear family, you are seeing just one Nirov, but there are many Nirov and just be with us, promote the truth, serve Yahua and always encourage promote the truth stream and brother Jay. We are going forward and are and we are waiting for the blessings of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Lena, Hallelujah. any words for Nirav when he gets for him going out? Nirav, I just have to say that you have been a tremendous inspiration for a lot of people. And I think it was perfect. The surprise was amazing because um, I have said um, uh, Elmer here for this uh, time. And then as a big, you know, this, this, this two, you two have been like a big shocking testimonies on the things that they decided to do. You decided also to, to resign to what you was doing. I'm like, I'm done with this. I just sent an email and I'm like, in that email, it, 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 it threw my, it, it bring me the truth of what I was really looking for. And, and having, having you there being a witness and, and being in that in a different area also to be able to keep spreading and that's why this operation is so important like this operation spread and our first guests are this is spreading uh around the world so it's amazing i'm very very proud of you you're a very young man and i know that uh yahua is going to keep guiding you uh and through brother jay you're going to keep learning the ways and you're going to be able to take the word of Yahuwah and spread it in all of the area that you are. And with your family now uh, holding hands in Yahuwah's name, I know this is going to be very impactful. And I know people are so excited to be able to see you here directly and hearing directly from you that testimony and that witness that 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 wisdom that you has as a young man so thank you for being here with us nero <laughs> that's great yeah thank you thank you bodhi bodhi means sister-in-law in bengali wow okay that's awesome that's beautiful nero we love you give you give you go give your mom a big hug yes. good night for us tell her yes. we love her yes. so much and we're so proud to have her uh, one day you could translate, bring her on. We could do some translation for her to yes. say hello to the Yahoo community. So love you. Have a great night's sleep, yes. brother. We love you yeah. and have Thank a good you. night. Thank you. All right. <laughs> what do you think, Lena? Woo. I I'm excited. I think this first session of this operation spread, it was amazing. The two big testimonies, I think it's a big inspiration for everyone that is out there and just need that little push to go out and you know you see this these ones are like extreme testimonies on how they just decided to come out you can do the same thing like just one step at a time start spreading the word start start spreading the name that's what we need yahoo is being if you're here if you're listening right now to this or you're listening to record it it means you have been called are right. you taking that call or you're leaving it which means you're not going to be with him. So right now, take that call. If you're listening to this right now, if you're right now in this live, you're listening to this recording, it means you're supposed to be here. Yahuwah put you here to be part of this operation spread. So go to tsnt.org, spread the tsnt.org site with everyone that you can, and let's make this happen. Because Yahuwah have given us a big call, not just to Brother Jay and I, to everyone that is listening to this message 
So we have a task to do and we're gonna do it with you or without you. You are the one to take the decision if you choose Yahoo or you don't. So this is a big project. I'm very excited. I'm like just um, amazed of what we have been able to accomplish in these past two months. And since 2007, like Brother Jay just said, he started, he, he listened to the call of Yahoo. he immersed himself, he learned about it, and when he learned, he put it in this website. And let me tell you, this first website that he got, he got the best information ever. <laughs> <laughs> but that design, <laughs> he needed some help at that time. <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I'm honored to be able to walk this path with him. And um, I'm, I'm that's that's so great him. you said that. I mean, because you would go, honey, this information is off the chart. We got to do something with this website. I'm like, I'm, I'm busy. I'm all over the place. So Yahoo really um, blessed me to uh, find him and being able to help on this part. And he put those skills in me. Uh, I didn't even went to study uh, graphic design or not, nothing of that. I, I study business administration. But I always have art in me since I was little. And even before I did, during the career, I created my own websites for different uh, businesses that I have. And, and, and when I saw that page, I'm like, we need to work on this. But like you said, you know, it was in, in this coding and I, I couldn't do coding at that time. And, and I was like, okay. And he didn't want it to know who he was, all these things. So, you know, it was like, he, he always was saying, I just need to spread the name. I just need, I just need to spread the name. And he had, we had a lot of emails coming to that. Hundreds even with of that, emails coming in, people giving even, them lies. Yeah. Even with that, with that, with that sign looking the way it was. <laughs> so once 2020, 2020 came and like we was talking about how much the knowledge has been increasing the way of building websites, the way of everything looks now, it, it more, now it gets more attractive to people, the view, the videos, the colors, and being able to put together this new look of the website with the, uh, with the team that, that we did it in 2020, it was amazing. And, and now where we are now, with all of you live together, holding hands, doing what Jehovah wants to do. I saw a message a while back here saying, I believe that this um, Promote the Truth project is attached to the clock down of Yahuwah. Um, it, it really shocked me. I don't remember who, who posted that. It was uh, probably like an hour ago in the chat. But it is. It is. Because if you look at everything that is happening, there is no other scripture outside that has the truth. And when you go to the digital collection, you're going to know just from reading those, just from reading that and comparing to whatever scriptures you have in your hands with true names or with not all with pagan names, you're going to know that there's no other scripture with the true word of Yahuwah. So this is a big project. The numbers are going in humongous steps, but we have to increase that because yeah. there's billions of people in the world. And if Yahuwah is ringing that bell, our mission is to put that name in front of the most people we can. And for those of you that are listening, you have people you love. You have people that you care about. And you want them to at least when Yahuwah come back, they said in their back of their head, they're like, I remember they talked to me about this. And at least they have a small chance to get to Yahuwah. So if our mission to spread that name, if you actually, if you go to tsnt.org and you look at the pictures that we have right now, you see a dandelion, a dandelion uh, flower. Because... When you blow the dandelion, those seeds go all over the, the once the wind takes them all over the place. 
That's what we need to do. We need you to blow. That's what you need to do when you go to TSMT. Imagine that when you click that contribute button in that page, you blowing that dandelion um, flower and you're spreading that seed. That's what we're doing, and I'm very excited for this first session. I tell you what, just that, that look at this, man. These 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 messages you guys are sending, it's just it's just it's just amazing. Somebody who that just posted here it was uh, Dre Bu John Melody a message. One day I came across you on YouTube on Facebook. Yahua has used you, brother, to show me the truth. My family and I are so grateful for the message and the teachings you are bringing. I can't express enough. We're crying now and still in awe that we have finally found Yahuwah. This will be an amazing journey. We can't express our thank yous enough for promote the truth, and we will do our part. The world needs to know the message you're bringing. I feel you, brother, and to my beautiful wife, Lena, who stands on that front line with me day in and day. Y'all have no idea, man. I mean, we be on, we, me and Lena in the trenches, and our son is right in the trenches with us. He loves Yahuwah. I mean, we are building a, a, an outreach here in Colombia. We got one that's starting to spark up over in Africa with our orphanage school. We want to regenerate. We've got things happening. Now you here down in Bangladesh. Brother Elmer, Lena, connect with Brother Elmer. I want to do a Zoom with him next week. I want to do a Zoom with you, Brother Elmer. Yahoo just spoke to me about you, you know, in another level. So I just listen to when the spirit talks. So we're going to talk to Brother Elmer, but we're going to get this message out throughout the world. Everybody do your part today. We're a kingdom business. That means y'all who was calling you, go to tsnt.org. Do something. Just do anything to be able to contribute to the telethon because he put it on our heart. Let's go. Let's crank it up. We got to get resources that are pumped out all over the place. We're going to turn up our advertising like nuts. Yes. We're going to a whole nother level this month. So we went hard last month. We're going to a whole nother level this month. Harder than we went last month to get the numbers increased even more. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We'll see you back here 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the second of three. Thank you, Lena. We'll catch everybody back at 2 p.m. Thank you.